So you're going on vacation or that business trip and you need your laptop. But you also want the fun of your iPad and you don't want to bring two devices. So which one do you leave behind? You leave your laptop behind. But now how do you run those apps that you'll need that are only available on Mac OS X or Windows? Well today we're taking a look at Jump Desktop for iPad and iPhone. The app that's going to make all this happen. So what is Jump Desktop? Well it's a VNC and RDP client. Now in layman's terms that means that it can remotely connect to your Mac or Windows computer giving you control of all that computer's functions. In order to activate a connection you'll need Jump Desktop installed on your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad and on the computer you need to connect with. Now don't worry the download is free on the computer side and one purchase of the universal iOS app means you're good to go on any or all of your mobile devices. The setup is super simple as Jump Desktop establishes your connection through Google servers, so you'll need a Google account. If you prefer not to use Google, Jump lets users manually set up connections too. Now of note, Phase 5 Systems, the maker of Jump Desktop, has also added the ability to connect it to a friend or colleague's computer through your PC or Mac via their recently launched Des Jump Desktop Viewer. But for right now, let's take a look at the interface here on iOS. Now we're going to take a look at iPhone uh, interface as well as the iPad interface. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Jump Desktop. First off, we're going to look at it on the iPhone. Uh, same interface for the iPod Touch. Basically a smaller interface that we're going to have on the iPad, but it gives us all the features that we're going to need here. First of all, when we launch Jump, uh, we've got all of our computers listed that we've already set up Jump Desktop on and that are also online. So we'll go to our MacBook here and get a screen that looks very similar to the uh, phone screen. And as quick as that, we are connected and you can see here uh, We've got the screen, uh, basically what we've got in the MacBook behind us, but we're going to uh, go into landscape mode here. So there we go. And we are going to show you basically some of the controls that we've got here over the top. So we've got uh, this button here that will show us our keyboard. Um, it'll also uh, let us zoom in, zoom out where we want and we can hide that. Uh, we can scroll across here to look at our next button. We can disconnect, hide mouse circle, you might have noticed that on the screen, and pen gestures. We'll show you what that is. First of all, we're going to look at the uh, mouse, uh, the default setup that we have here. So you see here we've got our cursor and you'll watch on the computer screen you can see it moving in the background there. And we're moving it just by touching and dragging on this Okay, so now we've switched over to the iPad, and we're going to show Jump Desktop running on the iPad interface. Now we are on the same Wi-Fi network. We've got our Mac in the background here, we've got our iPad. This is going to be the best case scenario for using Jump Desktop. Although you can use it over 3G too, or on different Wi-Fi networks. Let's say your uh, computer is in your home network and you're at work, you can connect uh, without a problem there. 3G, we will warn you, is a little bit slow. Uh, you might not want to use it on a day-to-day -day basis over 3G. You'll want to find that uh, Wi-Fi connection. So what we're going to do is we'll just launch uh, Jump Desktop here. And there we go. We've got our uh, computer showing that's available. We've set it up already on the laptop. And uh, look at some of our configuration here. These are general settings. We've got of course the Gmail email that we have logged in with. Um, we can just a few different options. Um, you can auto save your password so you don't need to enter that every time. Translucent keys on the keyboard is nice. We'll show you that. Uh, we'll go back out here and we'll log in. We'll show you the speed here. Nice little effect there and we are connected. So let's like take a look. Uh, of course we've got our same uh, uh, circle here that we can control our mouse with or just like on the iPhone we're touching and the mouse is moving where we want it to go so right now we're in uh, Firefox actually here and we're gonna go and let's close out Firefox so you can see on the computer here in the background running very very uh, fast 
there's some uh, anti-aliasing aliasing going on there but uh, overall not too bad let's go into uh, iTunes let's say we want to see what's going on there and we'll see uh, computer is just a little bit quicker but that's alright so uh, let's uh, look about let's actually right now I think we've got uh, one of our options set here in the top let's go into our options and see we've got screen locked here so that disabled zooming so we'll turn that off and now uh, let's see we'll go to standard now we'll be able to zoom in on the iPad take a look uh, at our iTunes library that we might not have um, on the iPhone or on the iPad however we will mention that right now the way uh, VNC is working here with Jump Desktop is we cannot uh, stream audio uh, from a Mac with a PC uh, that is an available option so uh, if you are a PC user you will be able to do that let's go back into uh, Firefox here and we're going to take a look at um, Hulu we're going to bring up our keyboard right up here at the top here we've got our translucent keyboard which is nice we can still see the website behind us we'll go into Hulu and uh, we're just going to start streaming take off our keyboard here now you notice here there is quite a little bit of lag uh, on the iPad side you can see the computer in the background not too bad but this is the demonstration that we're showing you're not going to uh, probably be watching any uh, flash video you can see the uh, delay there so we'll get out of that it's enough of cha-cha go back into Firefox and uh, let's see let's quit Firefox there Doesn't look like we were able to do that okay there we go just a little bit of a lag and now we're back now remember as we've got these two uh, right next to each other you see in the lag when you're out and about just with your iPad you're not really gonna know the lags there um, unless you're looking at your computer screen and seeing how far behind it is otherwise jump desktop does a fantastic job uh, let's take a look at some of our multi-touch gestures here we've got uh, well there we were scrolling two finger scroll uh, which is real nice um, actually jump desktop is the only remote desktop client on the iPad or the iPhone that we've ever seen uh, really execute a two finger scroll uh, without a hitch it's beautiful a uh, nice job uh, phase five systems on that one so we're going to uh, look here's our zoom and two finger zooming uh, three finger panning um, let's do a right click on one of our songs here just by holding and we can get info and uh, let's see let's pan over with our three fingers there real nice execution here the jump desktop has done excellent job we really uh, like the interface um, a little bit laggy especially over 3G but not too bad um, we love the fact that it's a universal app awesome be able to use this on iPhone or iPad iPod touch any of your iOS devices just a one-time uh, purchase price for jump desktop so really hand it to them there overall we love jump desktop we give jump desktop our four and a half star app chasers rating